guys doing? You guys are so funny. What do you guys think? You think you're getting something, huh? <laughs> Oh, you guys think you're getting some food, huh? Hi! Watch out for the fence. Here you go. Here's a treat. That was pretty impressive. You too. Here's a treat. <laughs> Don't touch the fence. Don't touch the fence. <laughs> Don't touch the fence. I know. Want another one? I'll give you another one. That's a boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> You guys think it's dinner time already? It's too early for dinner time. <laughs> oh, crazy, it's crazy, you guys. They're like, yeah, okay, that's it. Ran over here for nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. Well, happy day, happy day. And a uh, not so happy day. Well, it is a happy day. It's always a happy day. Supper time. Looks like uh, Friday's finished. It's gonna try to push Monday out of the bucket. Well, I guess they both finished at the same time. That's good. Okay, so as I was working on this video, um, I realized I was trying to make another video and Apple, lovely Apple, lost my images. So as I highlighted and went to go drag and drop, I highlighted, dragged, and it didn't drop. And me doing a zillion things all at once, huh, fancy that, um, deleted stuff from the phone before I could verify that it had actually dropped into the folder on my desktop. And it didn't. So I lost so much video. So basically what you're going to see is uh, what I got, <laughs> what I got left uh, between the GoPro and uh, a video I had sent to my aunt as a sneak peek and um, yeah so anyway here's what I got <laughs> Let's go find the boys. I'm not gonna go that way. The other day I got zapped by the fence really bad. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna be moving things around. So I'm gonna be making a better fence. Where are the boys? Oh, there they are. They're way over there. Let's go get them. Better yet, let's have them come to us. Come here, boys. Monday is pushing Friday. Friday's not happy about it. He's gonna start trotting here in a second, maybe. Come here, boys. Come on, come on. There's a boy. Hi. They're so handsome. They're like, uh, okay, this is as far as we're going.
it's the next morning. <laughs> oh. And I just saw them two crazies run all the way over there. So I wanted to give you an update. It has uh, rained all last night, not a lot, um, but it was enough to make a mess of everything. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's a mess. So I want to turn this around because I know they're going to be coming and show you what, what they're up to. What are you guys doing? You guys are so funny. What do you guys think? You think you're getting something, huh? <laughs> oh, you guys think you're getting some food, huh? Hi! Watch out for the fence. Here you go. Here's a treat. That was pretty impressive. You too. Here's a treat. <laughs> Don't touch the fence. Don't touch the fence. <laughs> Don't touch the fence. I know. Want another one? I'll give you another one. That's a boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> you guys think it's dinner time already? It's too early for dinner time. <laughs> oh, crazy. It's crazy, you guys. They're like, yeah, okay, that's it. Ran over here for nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. Told ya, told ya. So, anyway, oh, there's a, a little something that I wanna wanna show you guys later um, that came in the mail today. But this is, I'm gonna turn this camera around and I'm gonna show you um, what happened overnight. Okay, so as you know, yesterday, um, we dug all the holes, put that down. And as you can see, it's still really good. It's very soft. I'm gonna tamp this down just a bit more but the stuff just sticks to everything oh this clay is awful so remember how I showed you yesterday where it was all all kind of <laughs> he's over there snorting over something um, where it was all hard over here and see how it's kind of all mucky now it's all mucky so now it's all hard. It doesn't sink into the ground. It just stays on the top and just flows out into the pasture. So if you live in an area where there's a lot of clay, try your best to put at least four inches of topsoil on here. Because this stuff, I mean, just water doesn't, it just washes it away. It doesn't go into the ground very well. So that's why um, we plug a lot. And now we have this stuff. So let me turn this around. Uh, so anyway, um, this looks like it's pretty good. I'm going to do the same over on the other side. And I'm going to wait because we're supposed to get more rain tonight. So I'm going to wait again to put the, the fencing up because I don't want these being pulled in any one direction to make them offline since they're not concreted really into the ground. So I want to wait until that's really dried up otherwise it'll end up like that and we'll have to be pushing it all the time so let me show you what i got today and i don't mind my coat it's actually way too big but it's really super warm and all i have is like this light little sweater underneath it i was out doing some stuff and it's kind of chilly so i didn't want to get too cold anyway got this out in texas when i went on vacation with my family and uh Originally, this was supposed to be for my mom, but it's too small for her and too big for me. <laughs> so I just like threw this on really quick to come out here and do this video. But anyway, I, I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, today in the mailbox came this cute little, little tiny green envelope. And on the front, it has just our, our name as in like a, a cutout of a a list of names and just taped across the top and it was just kind of cute hand done really kind of cute and inside was this little letter and in the letter is just like a little typed out thing and again scissor cut so there was probably two on per page and a business card so the business card is very very hard to see it's a little fuzzy 
I can't really read it too well. The text needs to be bigger and the picture needs to be a little bit bigger, but oh. <laughs> envelope fell down. Um, but as you can see, it is for a P3 farrier service. You guys know what a P3 is, right? P1, P2, P3, P3 is a coffin bow. Yeah, great job. Okay, so in here is this cute little letter and it says, dear livestock owner. <laughs> I am a livestock owner, generic letter. So this person um, is a traveling farrier of all animals, not just, you know, horses or anything, but it says, we will work on anything with a hoof. Goats, pigs, sheep, anything, anything with a hoof. Um, they are also trained with wildlife and exotic animals. And they are prompt and reasonably priced. And they do, okay, I don't know if it's this one person or if it's both of these people, but they have we in here. It says they are looking to add new clients to their books. All of North Carolina, Southwest Virginia, North South Carolina, Eastern Tennessee, and Eastern Kentucky. That is a huge, huge radius. And half the farriers here down in Charlotte won't even come up here, which is two hours away because they have too much business. So, this particular person is starting off really, really wide. So um, they say mileage fees may apply, you think? <laughs> Especially if I live in Eastern, Eastern Kentucky and you live in Patrick Springs, Virginia. Anyway, um, they do offer a discount for military personnel, first responders, animal rescue sanctuary dis and rescue sanctuary discounts. So that's us. Anyway, um, that's kind of cool. And they give the phone number, they give a texting number, um, they give them their email address, a hotmail address, and their Facebook page. So they say, if we have this letter, this cute little letter, uh, in hand the day of the appointment, they'll receive $5 off first $100 worth of trims. So that's kind of cute. I really think that's really great. I think this is a fantastic, way to get your name out buying a list and then putting this out and this is very personable it's very cute and doesn't look very commercialized so i will put all this information that's in here on this video so in case somebody is interested to look these guys up p3 farrier service um you can do so but this letter is mine so anyway back to the the fence build and that's what's what's going on there um, I've got a whole ton of stuff to do in the house today, plus also making this video. And um, I'm going to give these guys some extra hay because obviously they're hungry and they're starving. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So, lots of work going on here. Gotta love it. Oh, there's Eeyore. Hi, Eeyore. Hello, Eeyore. He says hi. Yep. He says you cut all my branches out. I had to trim the, well, of course you saw it, this video. Silly me. But, uh, yeah. Friday. Hi. <laughs> He's all mad at me because I didn't bring anything but treats out. He's like, where's my food? <laughs> so I got to spray uh, some bleach water on that to make it nice and white again. And, uh, and then we're going to string up the, um, the fence.
Um, I've got to run some electricity to it. So over there where I've got all the, what looks like crazy cockamamie wires, um, I am gonna take some wire and attach it from here and run it underneath the gate and bring it up like I did over here. Cause we have the same thing going on over here. So you can see the black is a wire that comes up from the ground, gets attached in there, it runs up underneath and it comes up the other side and it gets attached there to that mess. That works. So I've got to go back into the house um, get that wire, dig a little trench, run it from one side to the other, and that way we'll have electricity from here to here. Really? <laughs> that way we'll have electricity from there to there, and then this will all be electrified, and then we can let the horses back in. And then uh, I can take that out in a few days. That doesn't have to be electrified, it's just there. And uh, I'll put up a little something there to keep them from getting in there for the time being because they think they're gonna think that's on so if they touch that and then they touch this and like nothing happens and then they touch that they'll be very upset and then they'll think that's on so they won't touch it I love horses they're they're so funny like that unless it's like Noah and then Noah doesn't care he just ran right through it he didn't care but um yeah I think it looks pretty good everything's pretty in there pretty good and I've got these two little boards right over here right there I'm gonna make into the little signs that's gonna say please shut the gate so that'll actually look nice and finished and then I gotta make a gate for that but um, for the time being I think that's gonna do fairly okay I can get up underneath it if need be and um, yeah so I guess until I make a gate that'll have to work alrighty well done I had to add this in because <laughs> I had to do it. So there's a wire it's under the ground through there and it comes up on the other side. So the only thing to do now is to turn it on. See if I hear any ticking. I got my handy dandy little tester. So I know that this is really super strong. So let's find a somewhat wet spot. Well, Let's stick this into the ground right here. I'll probably get that in as far as possible. There we go. And then the instructions on the tester says to do this and do that and do this. <laughs> so uh, we're at 0.87 already because it's just in the ground. So let's reset that. Okay, that's zero. Put that back in the ground. So now we're at zero. And 8.38, that's gonna, <laughs> no wonder it hurt. <laughs> Let's check this one. Oh, wait, can I go back to zero? Sometimes you gotta pull it out. Put that back in, zero. Oh yeah, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna bite. All right, let's try it again. And we'll try the bottom strand. Wow, that's 11. Whew, gotta love that. All right, so now we're good with all three of these strands. We know that there's a really good, strong current going through those. So let's see how my uh, handy dandy little work went. All right, let's get this into the ground. Let's try the bottom strand first. 8.43, 8.72, that's really nice. I like that. All right, let's try again. Put that in the ground. Let's try our top strand. And we're at 8.4989. 8.9. Yeah, all right, we're good. All right, that's that. <laughs> and that's how you test the fence. All done. I'm so very happy. This is good, now we can, now we can let the horses over if I wanted to. But we'll let them over in the morning. We'll give them their breakfast in the morning and let them have this side pasture so we'll see you next time thanks for sticking around Whew. finally the wind stops blowing <laughs> and uh we'll see you guys next time thanks for coming along while i did this little project
See you on a happy Easter. Have a good Easter. Easter Sunday is this Sunday. We'll see you next time.